Good morning. I'm so happy to be able to be with you this morning. It's a little earlier than I normally do this. I'm having to go into work a little early today. So wanted to just jump on and share a reading today from Jesus Calling, which I've been reading from for the last couple of weeks. So the reading for today says, I am the potter, you are my clay. I designed you before the foundation of the world. I arrange the events of each day to form you into this preconceived pattern. My everlasting love is at work in every event of your life. On some days, your will and mine flow smoothly together. You tend to feel in control of your life when our wills are in harmony. On other days, you feel as if you are swimming upstream against the, the current of my purposes. When that happens, stop and seek my face. The opposition you feel may be from me or it may be from the evil one. Talk with me about what you are experiencing. Let my spirit guide you through treacherous waters. As you move through the turbulent streams with me, let circumstances mold you into the one I desire you to be. Say yes to your potter as you go through this day. This kind of a message can be a little complicated for us sometimes because I don't like the idea that God is some sort of puppeteer, that we're marionettes on strings that he manipulates in certain ways because I don't believe that that's the spirit of what the gospel teaches us. What I do believe is that God has a plan for each of our lives and God has a mission for us, a purpose for us. I believe that we have choice points along the way in our day. Do things happen that are out of our control? Absolutely they do. Car accidents happen, all kinds of things happen. We get sick or we turn left when we should have turned right or things like that that happen to us. But what I take from this message is that no matter what is going on, that God can bring good out of struggle that the Lord brings his purposes out of the circumstances of our lives. The scripture passages that are cited this morning are from Isaiah 64, from Psalm 27, and from 1 John 5. I'm going to read them to you. Before I do that though, I just want to say I'm not a fan of taking one line of scripture out of context um, but for the purposes of this this morning it's hard for me to try to do an entire teaching about these passages um, every day but just know that if you have an opportunity to look these up yourself it's such a rich time to be able to read them in context and what that means basically is just read a few sentences before and a few sentences after to see how the writer was placing these words in a special place in the Bible. Psalm 27 verse 8 says, My heart has heard you say, Come and talk with me. And my heart responds, Lord, I am coming. <clears throat> the next passage is from Isaiah 64 verse 8. And that says, and yet, Lord, you are our father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all formed by your hand. <clears throat> and the passage from the New Testament is from 1 John 5, beginning in verse 5. And it says... And the ones who win this battle against the world are the ones who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And Jesus Christ was revealed as God's Son by his baptism in water and by shedding his blood on the cross. Not, not by water only, but by water and blood. And the Spirit also gives us the testimony that this is true. I'd be so grateful if you could, <clears throat> excuse me, leave a comment down below and let me know 
if reading these passages out of the Bible is helpful or if you would prefer for me to just tell you what the scripture passages are and then you can look them up yourself to be able to read them. Um, I need a little feedback from you about what's helpful for you. If you want me to continue reading from Jesus Calling or if you would like me to mix it up a little bit and read from some different inspirational books throughout the week. This is Holy Week. We are coming up to the Easter celebration on Sunday. I hope you'll find time on Thursday, Monday, Thursday evening at 7 to join us for a live worship service here um, on the Church on the Bayou page from 7 till about 7.30. I will be sharing communion, sharing in the Lord's Supper, the Eucharist, and I invite you to come up with your own elements of the bread and the wine to be able to share in that special sacred time as well. I wish you a beautiful, blessed, and safe day. Please continue to be mindful of your hand hygiene and not touching your face and staying a distance from other people. We're in this bizarre time with COVID-19 and hoping and hoping and hoping that soon we'll start to hit that peak time so that we can bring this all back down and have our lives get <clears throat> back to some sort of normalcy. I wish you all a very blessed, safe, and peaceful day. Go with God and share his love in this world. Amen. Thank you.